Hey everyone, Tom Traz here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 16. Where we last left off, I was in a very scattered shot brain mess on this game. Let me go over everything. So I refortify this house. I put the land claim block down there so no zombies would spawn in. I upgraded the door, and we waited till the next morning. Cool. Alright, so, to maximize my potential in this game, we're going to try to clear all these rocks, debris and such, because we're going to build our base right here. It's a very simple base. I've already made the frames. It's just a matter of executing it. And then once we get this all said and done, it's basically just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Because in this version of the game, obviously because it's called Seven Days to Die, we won't be able to get zombies until the seventh day. We're not going to make it to seven days. We're just going to do this one more day and then we'll switch to Alpha 21. <coughs> now, one of the things I did not explain, or I did, but I changed it. I went from 120 minutes to 60 minutes because that duration was way too long to edit. And probably why I suffered in my commentary a little bit. I know, I'm just walking around. Let, let's, let's do the things that we need to do. Now, in the last video, I was repeating myself over and over again about the criticism I gave about Seven Days to Die, whether it was the current alpha I'm on or the newer alphas. I'm not going to keep saying it. We'll get to the game when we get to the game, a.k.a. Alpha 21, and we'll judge it fairly accordingly, you know. That's the other thing. I kept saying, you know. But... What I'm going to try to do, as I was going to say, we'll, we'll, we'll play it and we'll judge it afterwards. There's a lot of new things versus a lot of the old things that I'm used to knowing. So, I also tr want to try stream tonight, if not uh, soon enough. The recording is being done on a Saturday. And with my job changes, I will be able to do streaming a little bit more often. So... That's the wrong one. That's the one I meant. I wasted a bullet shooting a rock for some reason. So, it happens. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to clear this all up. And we'll be establishing the base. Give you an idea of what I'm going to bring into Alpha 21 as a startup. I imagine that the base I'm thinking of in my head will fail. Which is fine. I also want to partly challenge myself when we switch over because I know in the new alpha you could set to whenever the horde wants to come in. You could set, you know, horde every night. You could set it every three nights. Or you could just leave it as the seven days it's meant to be. Which is kind of funny because I could picture that with h -E z Like, so Humans vs. Zombies, funny enough, has a seven day game. And then there's Invitation Days, which are just one day horde nights essentially i guess three days would kind of be like if you were doing end more in some sense so it's kind of like that i'm waiting to get my stamina back so don't mind me if i ramble a little bit more while i wait for the stamina i'm gonna get some wood too it's not gonna kill my stamina that quick so you know just do a little bit and there's that two words i said again you know yeah, so there's Humans vs. Zombies, and then there's Seven Days to Die. Kind of the same vein, but Humans vs. Zombies has been around longer than Seven Days to Die. But so has the zombie genres. That genre's been around longer than both, technically. Okay, so let's let's get rid of the... It's not grass. It's plant fibers. Let's get rid of the plant fiber. I may pick up clay soil as we go, which is fine. There's also snowberries, which are food we can eat, and there's cotton. The problem with the snowberries is they cause, not dysentery, but they, they give you like a, it basically like eating poison berries, in a sense. Like, if you consume too much, it could be a negative instead of a positive. Alright, so, instead of me not talking, and then periodically talking in between the boring parts... I'll jump ahead to get this all cleared up and then show you the final product. Let's go with that. Alright? Alright. 
Hey, sorry. Jump, just jump cutting in. I got some skill points for just whacking plant fiber grass. So, what else can I upgrade? So, health nut. Eh, there's athletics. There's Campbell. Actually, I probably should buy both of these because this will reduce the drink and food consumption, which I'm already starving and probably getting thirsty as we speak. So, yeah. We'll increase weapon smithing and I think dump the rest of the points into ah damn it I should have got minor 69er I always forget that one that's okay we'll put the rest into archery since I've been using that a little bit more recently so also another thing I wanted to go over schematics right you know how I got the there's that word you know how I got the crossbow schematic where is it? There it is. So I need to get four giant leather, glue, duct tape, and wood to make a crossbow. Which would be better than the typical bow. Problem is I don't have leather on hand. I mean, the trader could be selling leather. I know he has four, four giant. I'm not sure about glue and duct tape, and I can always get plenty of wood. But that's the whole point of the schematics. Like, oh, cool, I unlocked this now because I found the world... Versus the newer alpha where you have to read X amount of books to go through all the bows and the quality process just to get the crossbow. I could be wrong. There could be a crossbow schematic out there. I have no idea. I, maybe I could find a crossbow in the world. But either way, I like the idea that you could craft it. And you can't really craft it anymore unless you read all the excessive books. But, as I said at the beginning of the video... Instead of just judging it, we'll play it soon enough so I know for sure myself. Back to me grinding this. I'll BRB. <clears throat> okay, so I cleared out a fair bit. I know I haven't got the wood set up yet, but we need to stop at the trader. I gotta get a cooking pot because I'm getting thirsty and eventually I'll get hungry. I ate some of the, those uh, snowberries. But let's take my 11 coins. Let's see what we could sell. I'll take that with me anyways. Take that. Yeah. Alright, let's head to the trader. Alright, got 318. Hmm. Resources. What do you have for resources? Oh, you do have leather. Ew. It's okay. Been a real pleasure. Has it though? Alright. That's fine. I know. I'm desperate because I need to need to have a drink. And then Damn, we're going by two. That's fine. Let's drink this water. We're thirsty as all hell. Was that a bird? Alright. I don't want to get attacked. Because I heard the... Alright, I'm all quenched up. And then let's eat some stuff. Try to keep the hunger going. Oh, and now I'm sweating? Really? Oy vey. Alright, let's see what the forge has got going on. Okay, so we can make. Okay, now I need an anvil. Where's the anvil? Okay, alright, wood. We don't need that much wood. That's more than enough. 
Oh, we need the rest of the iron. Okay, so we're almost there. I gotta get an anvil first anyways. And then we gotta craft a cooking pot. In the meantime... Take that off. Man, I'm a bald-ass dude. I didn't make the character. I think I just went with whatever was default. Alright, craft that. And then... Yeah, because the anvil we need for the forge iron. But at some point, cooking grill, too. Alright. So it's going to be a hot minute before I get that. Oh shit, I missed in here. Oh, more pistol and ammo. Nice. Take that. Oh, there's some water. First aid schematic. Nice. But it's not an antibiotic. I still need to get moldy bread. If I can find moldy bread, I can... Made the anim Oh, wait, that reminds No, he didn't have it. Moly bread would have been in the... It's food, wouldn't it? All prices are fair here. Yeah. That's what I figured. Oh, my apologies. Check back again and I may have what you're looking for. Yeah, 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 I know. I did check that. Hey! Anvil. There we go. Craft that. Craft that. Just so I have enough. Alright, after dealing with a wandering horde. Where's the zombie? Wandering horde. Oh, fucking A. Damn rock. One dead. Alright, I'm about to run out of... How are you guys not dead? you have and got nothing out of those corpses they all dropped good what'd you have nothing 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 hooray let's get to what I need to get going
All right, here's the start of it. It took me a hot minute to get it done. Like I said, I had a wandering horde not that long ago. I also had to get a lot more wood than I needed. And I might be mistaken because I'm in the wrong alpha. I thought I had bars that I can use right here. But I'm using wooden pl uh, plates instead. So it's a fairly simple, like, tower base, I guess. So there's a building that I saw in the wasteland that had, like, this kind of setup. Where it was just a... Literally an angle shape. And it would just go up. So I made a bridge... Uh, not a bridge. A ladder to climb up on. And if I had the proper railing, I would do the rails instead of these plates... So that the zombies, when they came in closer to me, trying to get to me, with when spikes down below, I could shoot down, I could toss molotovs or whatever to kill them during the horde. But I just don't have the right thing. Also, food's going to become an issue real soon, along my infection. Granted, I have water, which is nice, but I don't have enough food. I can eat those snowberries, but... Golly knows when I may uh, get more sick. Because like I said, I can keep eating them, but at some point something's going to happen. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, I could eat the blood bag. What am I, a vampire? Well, it gave me some food, but it ruined my hydration, I think. Let's drink this water that I got. Eating raw fish is not a good idea because it's food poisoning. So, yeah, food's going to become a problem soon enough. Unfortunately. But that's the general gist of things. So, if we were to switch to Alpha 21. I try to find a house like this, although a lot better house in the newer Alpha, and run with this basic building of a base. I know, it's very simple, it's very, you know, there's those two words, it's just silly, but it should be ideal for the first two hordes, at least. So, and like I said, with the newer Alpha, I'll be able to make this a little bit better than it currently looks like because it looks it looks pretty bad not gonna lie not gonna lie now the trailer's gonna be closing in a moment i mean i could always go back i'm gonna do one ditch effort to see if there's any food in those tents because i really didn't check the tents i just need a little bit more food to survive but who am i kidding we're gonna be going to alpha 21 soon enough so it doesn't matter I did check the tree stump, which had nothing. Moldy bag. What do you hold? Aha! And another gun. Nice. Okay, there's stuff in here. Nothing. And nothing. Common theme. I didn't check the car, did I? Hey, a bigger, a better iron pickaxe. That's good. That's an improvement, but no, no real food other than that can of stock. Great, just great. That stupid tree. One other thing I want to point out, too, is that when we go to the next game, I'm not going to have the home and the base that close. I just needed to visualize the representation of the base. And that's what I'm seeing right now, at least, going forward. But, yeah, so this is Alpha 16. Graphics are meh, even with the highest settings. I'm still infected, still having a hard time with food, and that kind of sucks. I know in the next game, or next alpha, food's a little harder to get. You may have to do more farming if you can't really hunt well. So there's that. Um, what else? 
just a lot of new mechanics, a lot of new things that we're going to have to figure out as we go. And each POI has like a tier list of like difficulty for zombies. That's why I kept harping on last video about the dungeon style POVs because dungeon styles are fun and the, there's different difficulty of those said dungeons, but I don't know. I like the idea of the, the survival crafting game being survival and crafting with some, I don't say all, just some of the dungeon style POVs, I guess. Like if there were like broken down buildings, sure. But, I don't know. I'm rambling. So, I'm going to call for this alpha. We're going to move on to alpha 21. I did say a couple sessions. So, and that's it. I'm saying goodbye to this version of the game. Because I played 14, I played 15, and I played 16. So, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, so, I'll see you guys in the next video for the next alpha. Alpha 21. Check me out on TikTok, check me out on Twitch, which I'm going to stream soon enough. And I'm on Twitter slash X if you want to check there. I don't know why, but bye-bye for now.